Hey everybody, Josh Erdman from Erdy's Pest Control. Today I'm in the office and we're going to talk a little bit about how to identify bed bugs. We get a lot of calls every day, people saying they're, they're being bitten. Uh, some people show sign, obvious sign of bites or welts. 60% uh, of the population, in fact, actually don't show any sign of bites or welts. So that happens all the time. So, you know, if you're, if you're being bitten, obviously have someone come and look. Um, but there's some other sign you should really look for as well. Um, most notably is going to be the, the fecal staining that you can see in here, which are the black dots. Uh, they're similar in size to the tip of a, a pen. So if I were to take this pen and just dot this paper up, that's basically what it would look like on your sheets. It can be difficult to find on darker colored mattresses or box frames. Uh, however, they do make encasements and those are a bright white, which makes it very easy for you to be able to identify them. Some of the other stuff you may see uh, will be skin sheds because as the bed bugs grow, they shed their skin similar to a snake. Um, and you can see how they grow here as well. Um, these are all actually male bed bugs, but if you look at this card here, it shows the approximate size and coloration of them as they grow through adult. And we've got a small representation of them here. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, I've got a penny in there for a little bit of scale. But again, you can see they're, they're not huge. I would, I would say full grown ones are pretty much the same size as a wood tick. And they, they travel about the same speed. So they can't jump, they can't fly. Um, they're, they, and they don't move around a lot. They really spend a lot of their time in hiding. Um, and they're really, really good at it. So uh, a couple other things to, to, to mention is how do you tell if a bed bug's a male or a female? Well, it's pretty easy for us. We do it all the time. Um, but if you look up here, you can actually see one comes to more of a point and the other one is more round. So the one that's pointy is the male and the one that's round is the female. Now, <clears throat> one, one of the main reasons people bring bed bugs home and start to have a problem is because when you go and travel, you know, if you happen to bring home a hitchhiking bed bug, 95% of the time it's a pregnant female. The reason for that is little to do with how they reproduce. So again, the male's got the pointy end, the female is round. As bed bugs eat, they expand like an accordion. We just get fatter, but they actually expand like an accordion. And there's plates on the bottom of the female. As those come apart, it releases a pheromone and lets the males know that it's time to reproduce. And they essentially go over there and stab her repeatedly, which for obvious reasons she does not like. And she kind of flees the scene. So as she's running to get away from the males, um, that's how they get into your clothing that's next to your bed. They can get into your, your books or your tablets or your phones that are next to you on a nightstand. Um, and that's almost always the reason why when you bring home a bed bug, it's most likely going to be a pregnant female. And at some point you are going to develop an issue once she kind of settles down, finds a spot to lay her eggs, and then uh, the whole process starts over as they start to hatch and, and you get more in, in that area. It'll, it'll get worse and worse for you. Um, a lot of myths out there about bed bugs and how to get rid of them. Um, biggest misconception is that you can get rid of these guys with chemical. I'm a firm believer in heat treatment. Um, you can buy the store-bought chemical, but honestly, most of those products don't have enough actual chemical ingredient to really kill them. The other thing is you're not going to get the chemical everywhere you can get heat because the eggs are going to be not necessarily out in plain view, but they may be behind your wood trim, uh, in the wall voids, behind outlet and switch plate covers, and it's really hard to get chemical in all those places. Whereas with heat, when you heat up a space or a room, it's not a race. It's all about getting to a certain temperature and holding it as long as possible. That way that heat can stack up and just sink into everything. It'll kill the eggs, adults, and anything in between. Um, the other thing with the chemical products is a lot of times it doesn't have any effect on the eggs or the, the length of time that the chemical is active or working is a shorter period of time than it takes for the eggs to actually hatch. So if the female bed bug laid one right now, today, I came and sprayed that egg. By the time that egg hatched, most likely that chemical would be broken down. So uh, we don't, we don't want to use a lot of chemicals. The other thing is the smell with a lot of the store-bought chemicals. It's very strong and the bed bugs have a, a strong reaction to that. It usually chases or repels them away from where you normally find them, which is another major factor in the spread of bed bugs. So if you think you have them, if you're, you're being bitten, your spouse is being bitten, uh, you're finding staining, or if you're just concerned because you came back from a vacation, uh, we do have a bedbug canine, which is a dog that's specifically trained to detect live bedbugs. Uh, we can do a visual inspection, we can do a canine inspection, and if you find out you have them, we can actually help you out and perform a heat treatment for you.
So if you have other questions or want to learn more, you can check us out on our bedbug page at erdies.com or give us a call today.